No, your audio is not fucked up. Um, I am in my cruiser, uh, and you are on the other side of the web. But this video is huge to me. It's started here, I feel like, in the Land Cruiser. Uh, and if you do follow other parts of my um, virtual world of YouTube, I have had the same now Land Cruiser. I'm at almost 270, 278,000 miles. Um, and... It's been five years since I did start a video about the journey of completing a five-year union plumber's apprenticeship. So, that's done. <laughs> I guess that, you know, this is the face, this is the, the body of... Someone that made a video of like, I really have no clue, uh, I really didn't, uh, of what to do and how to pursue it and what that person at the end of that journey was going to be. But here he is, and, and I think my motives and my just humanity wanted to make a video blog for myself, and... I know that along the way we can, you know, give some, if you want to call it guidance, if you want to call it wisdom, if you want to call it um, insight, if you want to call it whatever, whatever you want to call it. I think that making videos is such a very interesting, you know, uh, medium. Uh, and I think, not to go on too long about this, but but I just wanted to share myself, which is weird because people call it vlogs um, or a blog, which is a video blog. But blogs are also kind of the virtual journal that we've kind of created over, I guess, I want to say two decades. Um, and I was a huge journaler for, I still am, I still journal. Uh, but I've been journaling since I was 14. So being 36 now, that that's just like this, it's, it's an inward expression of... Uh, I'm just who I think I am because I'm going to probably go back to these videos more than you will. I guarantee it, actually. Uh, and there are some, you know, aspects to the content that's been given that is kind of informational, instructional, and uh, that really wasn't my intention, I think, from the beginning because it was simply just sharing my story to myself. I know that sounds kind of bizarre, um, probably a little bit too self-reflective in, in, in a lot of ways that, you know, would need more <laughs> insight and conversation, I guess. But, les quoi? I'm done. <laughs> I am finished with a five-year program, and I was kind of moved uh, in in the innards of my feelings <laughs> that was just proud, uh, that was man, I, I, I don't even know if I had a word outside of just being appreciative and thankful for what it is that I have now and you know a lot of the times maybe questions come up as to what's next and and what's the next three four or five years and you know I excuse me have wanted to just be you know that's a uh, uh, very hard practice to try to master and I think our humanity and maybe people struggle with it in different ways, but that satiation of, of having enough, that uh, ability to not necessarily not want, but to find out what you need and want and find out when to express those and when to uh, withhold or 
say no. I just want to, as, as Snoop Dogg says, thank myself for showing up. I also want to, um, <laughs> I feel like I want a Grammy Award. No, I, I just, I, I couldn't have done it alone. And I think that, that this program, you know, whether you are considering a different career, whether you're considering whatever it is that you have found fascinating with, with plumbing or the trades, uh, you don't do it alone and you don't do it by yourself except for the fact that you have to make that choice to show up and invest but you have teachers um, teachers at the union you have other fellow tradesmen and women and people that invest and share knowledge or share mistakes or share uh, what not to do and who not to be there's a lot of things that you can absorb a lot of of of, of experience that that's the one thing that you just have to go through and you can't you can't give someone experience you can learn knowledge from yourself or books from from others it's still there's still knowledge that you have to learn and and and, and know about <laughs> um plumbing is still a mystery uh learning those facets but you I am thankful for the people that have done that to, to, to my career, to my um, ability to earn a living and to make, I guess I want to say just to have that purpose to, to, to feel like you're investing uh, not only just into your own, you know, humanity, but, you know, we can't really function in the society without plumbing, um, with a lot of things. I, I, I speak from a plumber's perspective, so I don't think that I'm, I'm, I'm negating all of the people. It doesn't matter really where that fits um, in society when you are contributing and adding um, a service or, you know, the necessity to life, I think that there is purpose to be found in that. And I think for me, finding that uh, has been super gratifying. And um, I do appreciate all the teachers and my uh, joint apprenticeship training committee and um, the knowledge uh, to to really sit now in five years, look back, say, wow, that, that person that I saw first first year to the person I am now is changed like this much and is wanting to grow to like this much. So uh, I just that that bedrock of knowledge and foundation is so priceless. Um, and I feel very happy, <laughs> which is a. Uh, um, a stupid word in my my vocabulary and I say stupid as in the word funny just stupid just like I hope others feel like they could cry when they finish that's what she said I really do appreciate everyone that has been around and um, this is kind of figuring out what I want to do with a YouTube channel. I still think it's going to come out of the heart of me sharing my life and the things that I'm doing um, to whoever's watching and also to myself. <laughs> keep it a keep it a virtual blog. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's where I've been. That's who I am today. And we'll see who I become tomorrow.